As we know, the trade deadline has come and gone. 11 moves overall were made involving 24 players. The Orlando Magic involved in two of those. The orchestrator of those two deals is standing by with our David Steele as we go back inside the Amway Center right now. David? Thank you, Dante, with Magic General Manager Rob Hennigan, who's had a very busy week and was very productive at the trade deadline just prior to. You made a couple of big deals. Rob, first of all, what were your goals going into the trade deadline? What did you hope to accomplish by making a deal or two? Yeah, you know, David, I think uh, it was a busy week for us. I think it was a good week for us. As we looked at the trade deadline, we felt, uh, we felt it was important to, to add some more veteran experience to the team. I don't think that's been a secret. We've said that in the past, that uh, we felt like a little more experience at, at key positions could help bolster us and, and certainly help hopefully uh, help us close out some of these close games that uh, seemingly we're in almost on a nightly basis and have a hard time getting over the hump. So going into the deadline it was critical for us to uh, try to find that experience and, and pieces that we feel fit and complement what we already have on the roster. Uh, and we felt like we accomplished that with, with Brandon and Ursan. Uh, we feel like they're really good fits for us here for the next 30 games. and also into the future and at the same time it gives us some flexibility as well if, if we feel like we need it so uh, we felt like it was a it was a good trade deadline for us not an easy one uh, you know to trade someone like Tobias was uh, very difficult for us but uh, we're confident our team will benefit from it. Now, how will fans notice the difference with Brandon Jennings at the point and uh, and Ersan Ilyasova playing a forward spot? Yeah, you know to be determined right um, but we think Brandon's ability to, to score his ability to create his own shot on occasion will be helpful for us. Um, he's a proven scorer in this league and I think he brings a, a confidence on the offensive end that our team could benefit from. And uh, you know Ursan's a guy that's just solid all the way around. He can stretch the floor uh, from that power forward position. I think he's top 10 in the NBA in charges taken. Uh, just a scrappy gritty sort of all around uh, glue guy that, that we feel will fit well uh, especially to replace Channing as we you know, move Channing on as well yesterday. Are there some other consequences that you could benefit from in terms of uh, just opportunities for other players who might have more opportunity to show what they can do now? Yeah, I think that's a good question. You know, I think one of the um, factors, not the main factor, but one of the factors with the trade we made with Tobias was, you know, we felt like we did have a little bit of a log jam there um, at the wing position. And so now uh, with Tobias moved on, we feel like it creates an opportunity for Mario Hazonia, for Ever Fournier, for Aaron Gordon. Uh, to assume you know the bulk of those minutes and we're very high on those guys and we think they can uh, really help here down the stretch. So the goal now with this new configuration a couple of new faces still make a run at the playoffs and then beyond that in the summer with regard to cap space what are the goals there. Well certainly the goal is to make the playoffs uh, we've we've been very upfront with that um, we want to win right losing is, is unacceptable and we're three and a half games out of the playoffs right now and uh, it's our goal to do everything in our power to, to make the playoffs. That, that's been an organizational goal since since day one, and will continue to be. Uh, and then we'll see this summer. You know, I think the cap space gives us flexibility. It's 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 on us to make sure we use that cap space wisely here, uh, whether it's next summer or the following summer. Um, but we'll we'll be ready. We'll we'll have our research done, and and we'll look to continue to add to the team and, and be aggressive in doing so. Well, congratulations on a nice trade uh, deadline, and good luck, Rob. Okay, thank you, David.